are going to see now two tables on Shavuot. The day of the acceptance of the Torah, Kabbalah Torah. And tomorrow night we start this festival. And very important one, you know, the Torah was given. It is known also that this is the time that people get a lot. Yeah. And especially those who are studying, learning the whole night. So it's a special day, very, very high level. Yeah, in fact, the 50th level has seven weeks. Seven times seven, we count in 49. And then we reach the 50th, which is the highest, Shavuot. And 50th, as it is known, there are 50 gates of understanding, of purity. And 50 represent also the material 50 is shall no, the, the crown. It means the 50th gate as the gematria of Keter, 620. Keter, crown, is the highest sphere. So the 50th level that Shavuot is, is the highest. 50 years represent mystically the highest level of light, the hidden light. And this is maybe the connection to the English word noon, noontime. Yeah, noontime is when the sun is shining fully, the same thing also on Shavuot, the 50th day, the light of Torah shining. And this is exactly what you have in this table. You can see in blue the Hebrew word or the light of Shavuot. Yeah, light of Shavuot. And the most important, you can see the arrow there showing the letter Nun, the same skip. Nun, so basically what you have here, Nun or Shavuot. Like Nun, the letter Nun, 50th, is the light of Shavuot, the hidden light. Because on the written that on Shavuot one can achieve very, very high level of understanding Kabbalah, Zohar, this is the only night, you know. People are awake all the time. And in fact, it is very interesting that Jewish people men in synagogue read after Shavuot normally a portion which is called Naso. And this portion added it the longest explanation of the Zohar, yeah? Because it's a time that a lot of secrets are <laughs> revealed. So this is what you have once in the Torah, noon, 50 years, the light of Shavuot. And amazingly, this fits also, as I said, the Shah Noon, the gate of the noon, is the same gematria like around 620. And this is exactly what the light of Shavuot is, amazing. So basically, as I said, that noon or Shabbat is once in the Torah, which itself makes it significant. Then you have parallel Torah in red. You can see in the left red Torah. They're interconnected. And then you have parallel in black redemption. So one should know redemption is not physical redemption. Geula is spiritual, basically the Hebrew letters of Geula, you can see it, is Galo, revealing of the Aleph, of Eluf, of God. I mean, Geula is the revelation, the revelation of God, there is a God, in the world who leads the world. So this is the idea of Geula, and this is exactly what Shavuot is, yeah. Galo is the discovery relation of God, because it's the time when God appeared to the Jewish people, and it's written Kabbalistic books that people in a high level can reach is also on this night. Yeah. So, what more you have here? Down, small, the smallest uh, skip of redemption, because all the idea of this is redemption. So interesting. Yeah. By the way, you can see in the left, that all what you see here appears as in the book of Leviticus 
from chapter 15 to chapter 28, no, <laughs> 20, one verse in 28, 27. <laughs> okay, so this is there also makes the table, but you know what makes the table most important? <laughs> On the black, I mean, uh, it means the uh, verses. On the black side, say we have a look at all the words here. And then it's written, Kola Am, Shumayan said, in fact, in English, it's written like this. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord, your God. All the people witnessed the thunder and lightning, the blare of the horn and the mountain smoking. This is what is written there. Yeah. Cholam, Shemim, Yaitakolot, exactly what was in Sinai. This is really one of the stronger proofs. The Torah is from heaven, <laughs> that all, all people heard it, yeah, not some, only one person tells that somebody that the, there is really the basis of faith, yeah, that all people, yeah, saw it and witnessed it. And this is exactly the place what you have here. By the way, there is, if you will look on the right side, when you have the letter S of Shavuot, on the right, you have a verse we said, Chag HaKasir, the festival of harvesting, the first, this, the first fruits, unbelievable. Another verse which tells you, because Shavuot, also known to be the time of harvesting of the wheat. So it also comes here. So what you need better? Such a small area. And exactly the right verse and minimal because i said many times you know that this program i'm using is a program of dr rottenberg and he says the more important is when you have minimal best meetings and the location which is exactly the right place it's amazing you have a minimal you see noon or shavuot minimal you have parallel redemption you have to and then the location, you have the verses which tell us about Sinai revelation. And you have minimal also Shuvah repentance because all this idea, everything is to bring people to repent. Yeah, if you see the truth, you repent. Then the second table, yeah, the second table, also very interesting, is once in the Torah, minimal Shavuot, 780. And 780, we mentioned, really, that all process really, we start from 780, 781, and uh, then maybe up to this year, which is this year's time of Messiah, after sabbatical, yeah. Then what you have here also is unbelievable. You have here exactly the location. Here is another verse, but this is before what the other. Vayan is in blue. All the people said, yeah, Vayan Kolaam. All the people said after they heard from Moses about the Sinai, what is going to happen, said, Koladvarim, all these words are shared by Hashem. And after the Ten Commandments, everything, the Ten Commandments, what God spoke, Nase will do, we promise to do it. <laughs> exactly the right location of Shavuot and Matan Torah. Then we have here on the left side twice Messiah. This twice Messiah, I think it's best meeting of Messiah and Messiah, right? Messiah, son of Joseph, who prepares the way for son of David. You see, son of Joseph, Messiah. Then you have here in blue Moses and Elijah, because Moses is written Moses and Elijah will come with Messiah together, because Moshe, the Gematria of Moses, is Shiloh. Yeah. Then you have in purple Ben Ishai, son of Jesse. So amazing. Here also Shavuot, minimal with the ear, comes exactly with the right story. Yeah, when the old people after Ten Commandments, uh, when they heard the Ten Commandments, everything which God did said will do. <laughs> exactly Shabuas.
So this, I think these two tables are many, many more in Hebrew. But I think these two people, two tables, if a man looks into it and sees what can be the chances, yeah, the chances the king will happen, that exactly the right verse will come with the right story in the Torah. Because this is really what Torah code is. Yeah. This is the most important. So let us have a good Shavuos. Let us say that in Hebrew, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. In Hebrew, such clear table that shows that this year, Shavuot, you know, being in the year after sabbatical, and in Jubilee, all the conditions, but what you can do, people, Jews are stubborn. <laughs> Very stubborn to keep Shabbos, to keep the Torah, to keep modesty of life. So let us hope that something will bring people to repent, maybe the Iranian Chassos <laughs> Okay, so interesting and very significant table for this Shavuot.